The four-day flare-up between India and Pakistan last week wasn't just a military skirmish, it became a real-world testbed for India's indigenously developed defence systems. As tensions escalated and cross-border attacks intensified, several Make in India weapons were deployed, offering a glimpse into how far India's domestic defence capabilities have come. Operation Sindhu demonstrated the precision and reliability of the Made in India weapons, reinforcing the success of the Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative in defence manufacturing. इस ऑपरेशन के दौरान हमारे मेड इन इंडिया हथियारों की प्रामाणिकता सिद्ध हुई आज दुनिया देख रही है 21वीं सदी के वॉरफेयर में मेड इन इंडिया डिफेंस इक्विपमेंट्स इसका समय आ चुका है the missile, which is a household name now, is the Brahmos. A joint initiative of Russia and India, the missile is credited with disabling Pakistan terror camps and air force infrastructure. With the recent inauguration of a manufacturing facility in Lucknow, the Brahmos is now being built by the DRDO in three cities, which include Hyderabad and Tiruvananthapuram. ब्रह्मोस मिसाइल क्या होती है अभी आपने ऑपरेशन सिंदूर के अंदर इस मिसाइल के प्राकर्म की एक झलक देखी होगी और नहीं देखी होगी तो कम से कम पाकिस्तान वालों से पूछ लेना चाहिए कि ब्रह्मोस मिसाइल की ताकत क्या है The Akash surface to air missile system deployed by both the Indian Army and Air Force along the Pakistan border played a pivotal role in countering Pakistani drone incursions and aerial threats. The missile with a range of 25 to 30 kilometers is built by listed public sector companies Bharat Electronics and Bharat Dynamics. According to reports, Tata Advanced Systems and l and also play a role in their production. The Akash Thir air defense system developed by Bharat Electronics integrated seamlessly with ground-based defenses, effectively thwarting Pakistan's air operations. The system is part of India's integrated defense grid, which also comprises the D4 anti-drone setup. D4 disables drones by jamming them and also via spoofing technologies and laser-based mechanism. Multiple DRDO labs are involved in this project. Another medium-range surface-to-air missile system used was the Barak-8, jointly developed by DRDO and Israel Aerospace Industries. It is now manufactured in India by Bharat Dynamics and by private sector companies Kalyani Rafale Advanced Systems and Tata Advanced Systems. Among frontline weaponized drones, the Sky Striker is being manufactured in India by a joint venture between Israel's Elbit System and Adani Group's Alpha Design Technologies. Nagpur based Solar Industries and Bengaluru based Z Motion make another weaponized drone, the Nagastra. It's a you know 100 km range and uh, it has uh, you know it can take a war uh, you know warheads up to 5 to 10 uh, kgs and uh, has the ability to go up to you know and then actually have a very highly precision attacks and that's uh, one of its key strengths it has a very high precision up to a 1 meter precision that that's the quality of this product the scalp eg cruise missile though not indigenous was complemented by india's homegrown radar and targeting systems which ensured accurate strikes. India's defence production has exploded in the past few years, with defence exports rising by 12% in 2024-25 to nearly 24,000 crore rupees. Importantly, Made in India arms and ammunition are finding a big market overseas and analysts feel the success of these systems in Operation Sindur will only boost their demand. Bureau Report, Business Today.
If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.